Hi, I'm Steve Pendergrast, and today I'm going to do a quick demonstration of uh, the features of our new application for the iPhone and the iPod Touch, and that is e-reader. E-reader allows you to read premium e-books from major modern authors available from just about every uh, large publisher. 50,000 books available currently and uh, growing uh, every week. And uh, e-reader is one of the oldest e-book formats. Uh, it's available on many different platforms, and the iPhone and the iPod Touch are, are the newest platforms. Now you have to upgrade to the newer version uh, of the firmware for the iPhone and the iPod Touch so that you can app uh, so that you can access the application store in order to download e-reader. To launch e-reader, you simply click on the icon for e-reader, and uh, you're brought into the bookshelf. The bookshelf is the place that shows you all the books that are actually loaded on the device. So this is important. This is distinguishes e-reader from some of the other e-book applications out there, which only allow tethered reading. In other words, only reading when you have an online connection. Here, you can download the books right onto the device, and they stay there, and you can read them whether or not you have a connection. So to open a book, you simply tap on the book's title, and it opens. So this is the last of the Mohicans. To uh, go forward in the book, you simply swipe. Now, it only takes a tiny, tiny little swipe, just a fraction of an inch to turn the page. Um, we were a little worried that the, the swiping would get uh, tiresome after a while, but it just takes such a small swipe, uh, most people find uh, it's uh, very comfortable to turn the page that way. We do support the landscape orientation if you flip the device over. Another nice thing is uh, dictionary integration. If you download a, an integrated dictionary, uh, and we have a whole list of them uh, over on, uh, on e-reader uh, and also FictionWise that works on this, uh, the integrated dictionary, once it's downloaded and opened on your device, will work in any book. So here I'm in, in The Last of the Mohicans again, and um, uh, if I decide uh, I don't know what a certain word means, all I have to do is press and hold on that word with my finger, and the dictionary comes up, and there's the word, and there's the definition. So uh, you can get the definition. Here I have a, a fairly small dictionary, a concise dictionary, the Web Merriam-Webster uh, Intermediate Dictionary, but we have even unabridged dictionaries, whatever you, whatever you want. And uh, just tap a couple of times to get back to the book. You can change... Um, Font size is very easily. If you just tap on the screen, a toolbar shows up on the bottom. Let me just close up on that with the camera. So there's a, oops, out of focus. A toolbar shows up on the bottom that has several different functions. And um, so I'm going to just, uh, so for example, you get a table of contents, you can search, etc. I'm going to tap on the little font changing uh, icon there. And uh, right now I'm in the Georgia font, and I'm in the medium font size. I can uh, switch, for example, to a large font size, go back to the book, and uh, now it's a much larger font size. So you can choose the font size that, uh, that is comfortable for you. Uh, if you're over 45 like I am, uh, you might want a little bit larger font. So to delete a book off the device, uh, you simply hit the Edit button. And it's the same as most uh, of the iPhone applications. You simply select the book you want to delete, hit the delete button, and the book is deleted off your device to save space. The next thing I'd like to do, uh, demonstrate is how you actually get uh, new ebook content onto the e-reader application for uh, iPhone and iPod Touch. Uh, to do that, there's a little plus sign in the upper right-hand corner, a little plus icon. You click on that, and you get prompted for login and password. And the login and password can either be from ereader.com or fictionwise.com currently, although we will be opening that up to many more bookstores in the very near future. Uh, my information is filled in from a previous run, so I'll just hit go. Use the keyboard as normal on the uh, iPod or iPhone iPod Touch, I should say. And after a few seconds, your bookshelf comes up. Now, these are all the books I've ever bought at uh, ereader.com. And um, I'm just going to choose one. Uh, let's say Sell by Stephen King. So you just press and just hold for a second. It asks me to confirm that I really want to download the book. The download gets kicked off. Now, you can actually kick off a second download while you're waiting for the first. You don't have to wait for the first to finish. It'll queue them up and download them. Um, and uh, when all the books are downloaded, uh, you will get a notification, a little notification will pop up in just a second, 
course, Stephen King's very long-winded, so this is probably a pretty big book. And it says they're all done. So I say OK. Now I could download more books if I wanted to. If I go back, uh, I'll see, there it is, Cell by Stephen King. And uh, I'm going to click on the book. So you just click, and again, you just hesitate for a second to hold it. Now, I did not get prompted for an unlock code. Uh, premium content from the big publishers uh, requires an unlock code. And uh, what, what we do is we save the last few unlock codes that you've used on your device, so you don't have to keep typing them in over and over again. But uh, I'll show a, a demonstration in just a moment of uh, how, to, how to unlock a book uh, that has a, a code that's different than uh, the, the ones I've used so far on this device. Uh, once you're in the book, you just, again, flick the pages. Now, one thing to notice is at the very bottom of the screen here, you'll see a little progress bar. That's the progress of the pagination of the book. Uh, E-Reader, like some other, uh, unlike some other ebook uh, systems, actually fixes the pages of the book so that they remain constant, and that a lot of people like that. Uh, but it does require that we paginate the book. Now, the pagination takes maybe a minute uh, for an average book, uh, but it doesn't stop you from reading the book. You can read the book while the pagination is in progress, as long as you don't go past you know the place where it's been paginated. And if you try to do that, it'll just say waiting for page. And then we'll uh, we'll bring up the page as soon as uh, it gets there. So let's uh, just talk real briefly about unlock codes. Uh, when you buy premium content from big name authors uh, by by the larger publishers, they require uh, DRM uh, in order to uh, uh, to allow us to sell their books. And uh, on the iPhone and the iPod Touch, or when you're using the e-reader application, we have a, a somewhat unique uh, method of doing the DRM. Your, your content is not tied to a particular device. What it's tied to is the credit card number uh, that you have on file with us. And this uh, prevents sharing because, um, you know, basically you'll only share the book with people you're willing to trust with your credit card number. And so it's pretty effective. The nice thing about this kind of DRM is uh, there's no limit to the number of devices you can put the book on. Uh, it's, uh, it wouldn't even matter if the company you bought the book from went out of business. You would always be able to transfer it from one device to another uh, as long as you, you knew what, which credit card number it was uh, encrypted with. So what I did was, in order to demonstrate this, no normally you don't have to do this except for maybe you know once every few years, because what happens is you tend to use the same credit card over and over again, and uh, e-reader will remember the last, uh, at least a hash code of the last number that you've used to unlock the books on a particular device. So typically you'll just put the number in once, and then you can download as many books as you want, and, and they'll just unlock. You won't have to do anything after that unless you later change your credit card number. So it's pretty convenient for that reason. So what I did to, to demonstrate this feature was I set up a brand new uh, credit card on my account, and I downloaded a book uh, using that number, The Subtle Knife. And what happens is uh, when, I, when you open a book that's not using one of the card numbers uh, that you've previously uh, entered on the device, it asks you for the name and the unlock code for the book. And the name is whatever name you used when you put in your credit card number. In other words, it's the billing name of the credit card. Uh, now I'm going to blur this out because I really don't want uh, all of you out there to see my credit card information. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, enter the information. And we'll use editing tricks uh, in our editing software to speed this up and to uh, eliminate my credit card number from your view. And when that's all entered, I'll press the unlock button, and the book comes right up. Uh, now, I could, I could download more books. Uh, by default, you have a primary credit card number on your reader.com account, and that's the one that's always used uh, for, uh, for unlocking your books. And um, once you've done that, uh, you won't have to do that again until you change credit card numbers, which for most people is just every, every few years. So this has been a, a brief demo of the e-reader uh, system, the initial 1.0 release of e-reader for iPhone and iPod Touch. And, uh, you know, we're going to continue to improve this. We've got uh, several improvements coming in a very short period of time, including the ability to uh, get content from other places besides FictionWise and e-reader, uh, including some improvements to the human interface, uh, some additional uh, sorting options and features, and, and a whole bunch of good stuff. And uh, it won't, won't be months and months. Uh, we'll, we'll have some releases every few weeks um, uh, as we uh, flesh out this, uh, this new product and uh, make it easier to use and, uh, and uh, hopefully become your ebook reader of choice uh, on the iPhone and the iPod Touch. So thank you for listening.